If anyone here present is confused as to why you're here, I really do hope that seeing this lady in white and the handsome guy in the suit kind of clear th clears things up. Yes, we are here for a wedding, but not just any wedding. We are here for the wedding of two wonderful and incredible people, Laura and Travis. So today we celebrate, and tomorrow you start putting in the work to move forward as husband and wife. Today is glamorous and you both look incredible. But tomorrow you get to see each other when you wake up, before you've had your coffee and before you wear makeup. <laughs> Today is a fairy tale, but tomorrow is reality where you start building your lives together. But the important thing is, you will never be alone in this, as you're watched over by God, who will be guiding you both along the path that he has laid out for you, wherever that may be. So tomorrow when you wake up and the guests have gone, the cake is eaten, the glasses are emptied and the hangovers are kicking in, you will be different people than who you are today, but you'll be different for the better. So Travis, do you take Laura to be your lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? If so, please say, I do. I do. Laura. Do you take Travis to be a lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death you do part? If so, please say, I do. I do. Do not take the time that you have together for granted and understand that words will fail you in how you express your love for each other. So instead of words, use actions to show the other just how much you love them. Marriage is not easy and it shouldn't be because it would be boring otherwise. It takes a lot of work to be able to journey along the unknown road ahead, but if you keep talking with each other, encouraging each other, listening to each other, and accepting each other's flaws, then the road ahead is going to be filled with so many adventures. Now, I could offer some words of wisdom to you both and to set you on your lives as husband and wife, and if, it, if I would, it would be this. Pray. Always invite God to be at the very center of your success, and especially your struggles, because his plan is so much greater than the very best plan that you guys can create for yourself. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have your cameras handy, I would encourage you to get them ready as this is one of the rare times in life that you can take photographs of people kissing without being frown, uh, frowned upon or creepy in any way. So Travis, you may kiss your bride for three Mississippis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please have join me in congratulating the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Trout. Together, the Travis and Laura make an incredible couple. Their love for one another, another will support them through all of life's challenges. With all of this said, I'd like us to raise a glass uh, for a toast to the happy couple.
lucky walk right out of the magazine Set the room on fire, put a spell on me I was singing, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Took 